We're going to take a look at the Unit 10 Discussion Board. So in this discussion board, you're going to be looking at a data set from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, and we're going to look at employ unemployment rates by state. So in your initial post, what you're going to have to do is tell us, you know, a general city or town. It doesn't have to be where you live. It could just be a specific place. Um, and if you live outside the U.S., just choose somewhere. Um, use the, web, the website and the information from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics to find the unemployment rate for the last five months for where you live. So, you know, we're in June, so count back five months. Um, and then look at the mean and the median of your data, so what the data is for your specific area. So you've got five months, five data points. And then you're going to show the graph of it. So this can be done by pressing the graph icon by the data for your area and then copying and posting the graph. So you're not generating the graph. You're not going to be utilizing anything in the system to be able to do that. You're just going to click that button and put that into your assignment. In this piece, you're going to consider the graph that your classmate posted in your response. And I just want you to look at it. Do you notice any trends? Are there any patterns um, that you might need to make to increase the employment? So maybe you're looking at the unemployment rate has dropped lately and maybe you wanna have some new businesses open in the area and that'll create new jobs. That's definitely one way to tackle that response. In your last response, you've probably seen some of these areas are gonna see some pretty drastic changes over five months. And so you might want to think about what could have happened. So for instance, where I'm at in Louisiana, you know, we have hurricanes and when they hit an area, you have a lot of people that can no longer live in the area because they don't have homes. So that's a key piece to be aware of there. So that's just one example um, of how you can think about it. And then, you know, if you're new to this area, you can say I'm new to this area. So I'm not really sure of all the trends. So that's a good way to be able to do that. So this is a really, simple reply to your classmates. You're not having to do a calculation here, but you are having to just think a little bit outside the box.